everyone. I just wanted to take a minute here and show you how to prime your wood board for painting and I'm going to use some gesso and I'm going to tint the gesso so that we will have a base coat as well and that way we can do it all in one step. Now anytime you gesso a board you want to wait 24 hours before you paint on it so you should always do this in advance. So I'm going to be using this Liquitex gesso and I'm going to be using some Liquitex paints. Today I'll be using this Hooker's Green, Yellow Oxide, and Naples Yellow Hue. Now I chose paints that were opaque and not translucent because they will do a better job of covering the board for me. So the first thing I did was I looked at my background color and I wanted to decide what color to use that was just a general color in the picture. So I'm just gonna kind of choose this, this shade right in here. It's kind of like a yellowish green. And I mixed a few to kind of play around and see what I could get. And my best result was really this Naples yellow hue with the um, Hooker's Green. And that gives pretty much this shade almost exactly. Okay, so you just wanna mix a decent amount of paint. So we're gonna mix up some. Add a little bit more. Oops. And we're going to add, let's say, Naples Yellow Hue. Now you could go with either one of these as a base, honestly, because it's still the same tone. So if you don't have the Naples Yellow Hue and you do have the Yellow Oxide, then go with that. And any sort of a dark green would work preferably opaque. Just give this a little bit of a shake so it's mixed up. We're just going to put some on here and I'm just going to mix all this up. It doesn't take a lot. This is probably honestly more than I need. But I just want to get a base coat. Now it does have the gesso is white so I won't get exactly that tone because I have the white in it. But that's okay. It's just a background color just a starting point for us to paint off of. So don't worry about that. Just mix them up good. It's a little on the green side. I think I'm gonna yellow it up just a little bit. I might just use this. And just play around with it until you get it kind of the shade you want. Try not to use too much paint in reference, in, um, comparison to the amount of gesso you use just because you want a decent amount of gesso so that you get that primer ability. That's pretty good. I kind of like that shade. Okay, and once you get it mixed up, then all you're going to do is put it on your board. Let me move this picture out of the way. So I'm just going to use this, it's just a little angle, one inch Craft Smart. It really doesn't matter as long as it's a fairly soft brush I think is best just to get a good even coat. I usually start on my sides because I want my top to be even and if I start on my sides then I can smooth out the top but if I start on the top and then I paint the sides then that little lip comes over of the paint and then you have to do it over again. So best to start out with your side. Now I'm not going to do the back just now. I will probably do the back um, after this dries. Sometimes I don't even do it until after I paint the painting just because I want to kind of see what color works best for the back later. Now I wipe off the bottom as I'm doing this just because I don't want it to stick to whatever I'm putting it on to dry. And you're are worried about that you can also just set a block under it to dry and that keeps it off up off the, the surface so that's also a good option so I got one more side here and just one coat is really all you need the only time I might do two coats if I was trying to get a fairly dark black color then I might but usually for just this background color, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to paint the background on it anyway. This is more just a primer base is what you're looking for. Now I'm just going to put a nice coat of this on here. 
fairly even. I am going with the grain. Um, I like to do that when I'm using wood. If you're not using wood and you're using a canvas, you can go both directions. Some people will put one coat one direction, let that dry, and then come back and do another coat the other direction. Okay, but for this, I'm just gonna go one direction. I can't tell if that's the wood. Yes, it's the wood. Now, I sanded this first. Every now and then you get little spots <laughs> where you miss sanding very well. Honestly, I, I let the character of the wood show through a little bit, so I don't really worry about it too much. But if you are worried about it, you might want to just let it dry and sand it down and then give it one more coat if you want it to be nice and smooth. But this is pretty good, and this is clear pine, and the clear pine tends to um, you know, be a lot better quality than the regular. Now this is just a makeup brush, and I'm only going to use this very lightly just to take out the brush strokes. So I'm just gonna real lightly sweep it across, just so slightly, just enough to take out the brush strokes. Because I don't want a lot of brush strokes on my base showing through. So you can just kinda go over that real light. It's a super feather-like touch. And you can go any direction really, as long as you smooth it out, okay? And then once you do that, then you just let it dry and you're all set with your base color. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that helps explain how to put on your base color, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.